Okay, so let's answer this problem. Find the volume of the solid generated by revolving about the y-axis, the area bounded by the curves y squared equal to 4x, y is equal to 4, and x equal to 0. So since simple raman is a parabola opening to the right, so let's draw, it would look like this, with vertex at the origin. Then we have we also have this line y is equal to four so that would be just a horizontal line so let's say this is y equals to four and it's y equals to four and x is equal to zero that is just the y axis right so therefore the region bounded that is involved in this problem is this region so this is now the bounded region. So, rotate the y-axis. Okay. So, what is the convenient strip that we could use here? Vertical or horizontal? Either. We can use vertical, we can use horizontal. So, what do you like? Vertical or horizontal? Mag horizontal lang sa Or let's try to solve this in two ways. Vertical and horizontal. Let's try horizontal strip first. So, if we use horizontal strip, that means the thickness is dy. This point is xy that belongs to this curve. Okay, then this length is simply x. It's just x. So for the boundary, since we will be integrating the, the volume generated from this point to this point, so we need to get the intersection. So to get the intersection, we just equate these two equations because that is intersection of the line y is equal to 4 and the parabola y squared is equal to 4x. So therefore, by, by substituting y, we'll have 4 squared is equal to 4x or x is equal to 4. So therefore, the point of intersection is 4, 4. Okay. Now, if we rotate the strip, it will it will generate this disk, a circular disk, with thickness dy and radius x. Okay, because this is x, so this is also x. And if we integrate all the the disks, it will generate a figure like this. Uh, So this would be the volume generated. So let's color this blue for aesthetic. Yeah, that would be the volume generated. So how would we compute the differential volume? Looking at this differential volume, that would just be pi x squared dy or the area, the area of the circle multiplied by the thickness dy. So therefore, the volume is equal to pi times integral of x squared dy from, since we will be integrating from here up to here, so that would be from 0 to 4. 0 to 4. So we still need to get x squared, the value of x squared based on the, uh, based on the curve that, diba, we know that y squared is equal to 4x. So therefore, x is y squared over 4. So, x squared is y raised to 4 over 16. Yeah, no, thank you for correcting. So, this will be the integral. Pi over 16 times the integral of y raised to 4 dy from 0 to 4. Tama ba? Y? Ah, sige. Sa cell ni kong nasayo pa. So, pi over 16 times y raised to 5 over 5 from 0 to 4. So, that would be 4 raised to 5. So, it's 64 over 5, 5 cubic units. Yeah. Okay, let's try to solve the pro the same problem using vertical strips. Let's say this is a representative strips of all the strips. The thickness is dx and what would be this length? Since this is 4 and this is y, right? So it's 4 minus y. 
4 minus y. So, if we draw the strip, it would look like this. Right? Since we are using vertical strip this time, it will form a cylindrical shell with thickness dx. So, the altitude of the shell is just 4 minus y. And how about the radius of the shell? If this point is also x, y, so this is y and this is x. So, therefore, the radius of the shell is still x. So, from our previous discussion, we said that the that's a differential volume is just equal to the differential area multiplied by its rotation. So, the rotation is the circumference of the shell. So, this, the circumference is just 2 pi times the radius, which is x, multiplied by the differential area. The differential area is this, 4 minus y times dx. So, the differential area is 4 minus y times dx. So, therefore, the volume is 2 pi times integral of x times 4 minus y is what? Since we have y, is, y squared is equal to 4x, y is just 2 square root of x. Tama ba? So, 4 minus 2 square root of x dx. From this time, the boundary is from this point. This is z, uh, 0, 4. So, from 0 to 4, right? So, my movement are from here to there. So, from 0 to 4. So, therefore, the volume is just equal to 2. Uh, we could use 2 times x raised to 3 halves. Ready? Dx. Then, the volume is 2 pi times 4x squared over 2, so 2x squared minus x raised to 5 halves, tama ba? 5 halves over 5 halves times 2, from 0 to 4. Where x is 4. Okay, the answer is still 64 over 5 pi that's in cubic units so either you use a vertical strip or horizontal strip